Uh, hey guys, welcome back. And today we're doing a video on Rondale Moore. Uh, he was a second round pick by the Arizona Cardinals in the most recent NFL draft. And he was a second round pick because he had an amazing freshman year back in 2018. He was Big Ten Offensive Freshman of the Year. He broke multiple Purdue records, Big Ten records. He had over a thousand yards, over a hundred catches, a really phenomenal freshman season. However, he had some injuries the following two years. Uh, Purdue, Purdue also wasn't very good and he missed some games and all those things kind of contributed and combined and resulted in his stock falling a little bit. And that also resulted in the Cardinals getting quite a bit of a steal, getting him in the middle of round two, because beyond the top three receivers in this draft, uh, Chase, Waddle, and Smith, and maybe Rashad Bateman too, you could argue he's the next best guy right there. Uh, Elijah Moore, uh, Kadarius Toney, Terrace Marshall, he's right up there with all of them, super talented, super gifted. And uh, the Cardinals are going to love having a guy like him on their offense because uh, beyond DeAndre Hopkins, they don't really have many receiving options. And I'm sure Cardinals fans know this better than anyone else, but DeAndre Hopkins is great. Top three receiver in, in the NFL, no doubt about it. Fantastic player. But beyond him, it's like Andy Isabella, Christian Kirk, old AJ Green, close to retirement, Larry Fitzgerald, Chase Edmonds, James Conner. None of these guys are top tier separators or big play guys, or they don't really do much of anything for the most part, especially not like Andy Isabella and stuff. So the Cardinals needed to add another uh, true like game-breaking weapon, a guy who can create in space, a guy who can make big plays, break tackles, run past guys, run through guys, all that good stuff. And Rondell Moore is going to be exactly that. He is, he's able to do all those things at a very high level. And yeah, with that, we'll get into it right here. First play of this video. This is a basic five-yard pass. The quarterback throws the ball five yards beyond the line of scrimmage, right? So Rondell Moore catches it at the 35-yard line. Number eight, this defender literally jumps onto him trying to bring him down. He can't. And Moore is able to shake him off and keep running like he never even got hit and run at 55, 60 yards for a 70-yard TD. This is this is a really impressive stuff. And this is not this is no easy play to make, especially against a good team, 23rd ranked Boston College. No, no easy task. And he makes it look very easy, right? You can see from this angle uh, right here. It's a five-yard pass. It's basically a dump off check down type play. And there's four defenders around him with one guy literally jumping onto him, falling on the ground, trying to bring him down. And none of these guys can really do it, right? All these guys end up being left in his dust. He shakes off a little arm tackle, that little jersey grab, and he runs in a straight line. You know, perfect balance, perfect body control, doesn't trip, doesn't fall, outruns 21 and four, and gets to the end zone. Really, really good play there. Love to see it. And we have more to go through as well. Uh, he's really, really good at breaking tackles. Like that's one of the best parts of his game. And I'll show you guys right here. This is an overtime against Wisconsin in a big play, a big game, making a big play. He literally makes seven, six, seven guys miss right here. I'm going to play in slow motion. Sorry about the little uh, screen freeze up right there. Play in slow motion. 17 tries to grab him, can't bring him down. 43 tries to, 56 tries to, literally shakes 56 off of him. 14 comes onto him, ends up on the ground too. And 25 and 92 also try to get him and they end up on the ground as well. There's literally like five, six guys left in his wake trying to bring him down. Not a single one can. This, this is a better uh, view of it too. And slow motion really shows what's happening. 53 uh, trips on himself and gets hit by the lineman. Uh, he has a little in-cutting move and leaves this defender literally bending backwards. Uh, the referee ends up getting part of the collateral damage as well. All three of these guys end up, on the, end up on the ground. So do these two guys. Like there's literally five guys left on the ground on like a 15-yard play that he literally creates almost entirely for himself. This is fantastic. This is fantastic. He doesn't even trip, doesn't fall, doesn't, you know, fumble, nothing. He makes these plays look so easy and so simple. Like there's, there's a good chance he's the best receiver uh, beyond DeAndre Hopkins on the Cardinals offense by the end of his rookie year, maybe even by the end of training camp. He's that good and that talented. And yeah, really, really good stuff there. Uh, so he's probably not going to play outside the outside receiver role too much for the Cardinals. That's why they have DeAndre Hopkins and what, that's why they also brought in AJ Green. But he, if he needs to, he can. He's also good at uh, plays like that as well. And you're going to see right here, at the bottom of the screen. This is not an easy play to make either. He has very little separation. The corner actually did a good job playing on the boundary, forcing him literally to the sideline with almost like less than a yard of separation, if that. But Moore is able to find the ball, jump up, and keep that left foot in bounds. And this is very similar to the play Jalen Waddle had on Christian Fulton in the video I made on him. You guys can check it out on my channel. But this is very similar to that play, right? Like this this corner is like, and I'll try to show you guys from this angle right here. This corner is right there. This corner is right on him. This is literally on the sideline. But Moore is looking for the ball the whole way, knows where he is on the field, tracks it, finds it, makes the reception, gets that one foot inbounds, and completes the catch. And the corner is literally shaking his head right here. Like, you know, what else can I do? You can't do much more than that. He really did a good job on that play. But he's covering Rondell Moore, and Rondell Moore can make plays like, plays like that look very simple. That's what he does here. Love to see it, man. So this play is actually from that uh, 2018 Ohio State upset win by Purdue when they won 49-21 to 21 or something like that. There were many plays that the Purdue offense couldn't run because uh, Purdue's quarterback just wasn't very good and they didn't have the ability to kind of get the ball downfield because the quarterback talent just wasn't there. 
in many cases, a lot of plays were end arounds, jet sweeps, you know, short passes where the receivers and Rondell Moore take the ball for a long gain. And this is an example of just that takes the end around outruns like five guys on the defense who are all running full speed, trying to chase him down. Not a single person can even really get close to him. Uh, this defender over here comes in and he literally ends up getting sidestepped on a line, <laughs> ends up in the wrong position. 12 is like, you know, what the hell just happened? And the craziest part of this play is not even all of that stuff, but it's this part right here. Number two here is Chase Young. Chase Young is 6'5", uh, 265. Rondo Moore, just for reference, is 5'7", 175. Chase Young has 100 pounds on him and a foot on him. And Chase Young's also second overall pick, future Hall of Famer, defensive rookie of the year in the NFL, beats up on, you know, top-tier college tackles and top-tier NFL tackles at times. And he's trying to literally, he's literally grabbing onto Moore with his hand, trying to bring him down, drag him down. Moore doesn't flinch. Moore doesn't budge. Moore is not freaked out by this. Moore does not, you know, fumble or fall over or get tackled. He's able to shake Chase Young off and another defender too and keep running <laughs> like, like it never even happened. And this is Jeff Okuda, third overall pick by the Lions. So it literally takes a second and a third overall pick just to stop him from his momentum, just to kind of keep him from getting more yards. That's how, that's how talented he is, man against the second ranked team in the nation against multiple four or five star recruits, NFL draft picks, you know, he's out here just making them all look so silly, dude. It's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> like, like this is, this is fucking Chase Young. Chase Young's literally bear, bear hugging him, grabbing onto him. Most guys in this scenario are going down. They're falling to the ground. They're going to fumble, break something. Rondell Moore, even though he's just 5'7", 175, it does not matter, man. He shakes him off. Chase Young is the one who ends up on the ground on his knees. Same with 86, same with other, other defenders too. And then Jeff Okuda has to literally push him back like eight yards just to bring him down. Really, really good stuff here, man. Really exciting stuff for the Cardinals offense to have a guy like this. Love to see it. Uh, this, is, this is actually the next play in, from that video right here. Uh, this is a really uh, quick thing, but I just want to show you guys. Makes this one guy miss, turns around, makes this guy miss and fly, fly into his teammate. Makes 39 end up on the ground flying away. Makes that guy, makes number 12. Look how many, look how many guys he makes up and on the ground, right? One guy, number four, uh, two, this uh, no, this guy, three, this teammate, four, this guy, five, this guy. It, it takes five guys like on any given play just to bring him down. Wisconsin, those five guys. The last play was five guys. This play was five guys. It literally takes four or five people. Uh, the first play I showed you was like three or four guys around him. Every single time, there's like three or four or five guys there, and they all have to kind of com combine and collectively uh, work together just to make him stop moving. That's bananas. That's absolutely bananas. <laughs> really, really funny stuff, honestly. Uh, and one more play just from that same Ohio State game, because this, this game is really what put him on the map. This game was like national media headlines and Rondell Moore really came to life in this game. And once again, he was an 18 year old true freshman in his seventh ever college game. 18 year old true freshman playing his seventh career college game against the second best team in the nation against a defense full of top draft, uh, top recruits, top draft picks. And he's out here making them look silly, dude, silly runs past that guy literally runs into number 12 shakes him off 12 is the one who ends up on the ground same with number four and still outruns number eight and uh number uh 12 or whatever whoever there some other player over there once again he, he makes these plays look so simple that's the point i really want to emphasize man like these plays are no easy task to make against officially top tier competition by yourself basically and he's doing it man outruns both these guys literally runs into 12 He's, his lower body is so strong. I think he squats like 600 pounds and it shows up here. Like he's strong, man. He is, he's elite with his lower body uh, strength and ability and agility, all that good stuff. Outruns these guys too. He never trips. He never trips. He never falls. He never fumbles on himself or fumbles the ball. Nothing, man. Clean, straight line running speed. Never gets hindered, hindered for a second. I'll show it one more time. Like he, like it's casual. Like it's a pass behind the line of scrimmage. It's like a three yard pass behind the line of scrimmage. He creates everything by himself. Outruns him there, runs into him there, stays up right there. Those guys, those guys are on the ground. Outruns the three guys chasing him there, takes good angles in the open field, and runs in for the TD. Like he's making this all happen by himself as an 18 year old true freshman in a seventh college game. And when it, when he's healthy, he is deadly. He's dangerous. He's one of the hardest guys to tackle in all of college football. Uh, and this is the last play of the video that I'm going to show you guys here. It's a third and five from the same Wisconsin Purdue game that I showed you guys earlier makes the corner uh, get burned right there. That, that was cool. But the crazy part of this is this part right here. That spin move, that spin move is disgusting, man. Most guys, when they try to execute the spin move, they end up getting tackled, they trip, they fumble, they get hurt, right? Also, Rondell Moore, well, he has injury concerns, but there's so many plays where you see him run over five guys and he gets up totally fine, right? If, when he's durable, he is elite. Look at that, man. That's a nasty spin move. Like It should not look so simple for a player like that to be executed, right? Like the start of the play is nothing crazy. He makes that corner miss, which is fine. 26 has him dead to rights. 26 has him dead to rights. He should be going down here or at least kind of be slow, be slowed down enough to where it's not even that he doesn't go down. It's that he doesn't lose speed for a second. He's able to keep, keep running full speed even after the spin move. 
Like he does it in real time with real speed. And this defender can't get closer. If anything, he gets farther away almost. And Rondell Moore just takes it into the house. Uh, but but yeah, really, really good stuff here. Yeah, one last angle just to show you guys. 26 gets so juked, literally breaks both his ankles, basically ending up on the ground. Look at that, man. And he does it so simply. Like he does it so easily. Like it's just, oh yeah, just another casual random play. But he, it's not though. It, these kind of plays are top tier stuff against, you know, Wisconsin and Ohio State and, you know, good schools, Big Ten schools, Power Five schools with future NFL, you know, at least if nothing else, top recruits, you know, some kind of draft picks, like he's out there doing it, man. He's out there making it happen for the most part by himself. Uh, but yeah, let me know if you guys think in the comments down below. Uh, feel free to share this video with any Purdue fans, Cardinals fans, football fans, whoever it may be. It always helps the channel grow. It's always really greatly appreciated. We recently hit 150 subs on YouTube. So that's really, really cool. We're going to keep growing over there. Really excited about that. And we also hit 15,000 views. That's really awesome too. So definitely going to make some more videos. I got one on Zayvon Collins coming out for you Cardinals fans. I got a couple more, uh, one on Zach Wilson, one on Trey Lance. Excited to make those as well. And also feel free to follow the Twitter at Sports Medicated. Uh, same as my YouTube channel. Uh, we have like 500 followers on there and I, I post pretty frequently and it'd be, it'd be cool to interact with you guys, you know, whatever you're liking, retweeting, sharing, uh, commenting on to, be, to, to see that, to talk to you guys, to kind of get to know you guys a little more. That'd be really cool too. But yeah, Cardinals fans be very excited about what Rondell Moore brings to the Cardinals offense. Like I said earlier, there's a, there's a good chance he's the second best receiver on this offense by the end of his rookie year, maybe even by the end of training camp. This, this, this is 50 plays in this video. I only showed you guys like six or seven uh, some of the better ones, but they're all really, really good. He can, you know, make guys miss, run through guys, run around guys. Like I mentioned before, he can do, when the football's in his hands, he's one of the most dangerous dudes in the entire world. He's that talented and that gifted. And there's a lot to be excited about. Kyler Murray's going to love him. Cliff Kingsbury's going to love him. <laughs> the city of, uh, whichever city the Cardinals are based in is going to love him. Uh, so yeah, uh, once again, let me know you guys think in the comments down below. And thanks for stopping by. I hope you guys have a good day. I will see you next time.